Alright guys, welcome to Ultra Custom Night, and in this quick video, I'm going to be doing a little quick guide on how the mod tools work as they are in 1.6.3. Um, so, we're just going to get right into this. This video is just going to be the process of how I would go through making a character. So, the first thing I would do is just hop into a night. Now, what we're going to be doing first is planning out how we want our character to behave. So, what I'm going to do is, for this example, we're going to do floor 3. So, what we're going to make him do is come through floor 8 and go through all these cams and end up at floor 1. So, basically, what we're looking at is we're seeing the order of cams he's going to come through. He's going to come through cam 8, 7, 5, 4, 2, and 1. So that means we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 states where he's in the cameras. So pretty much, you go to the night, plot out your path, and that tells you how many different states you need. So again, in this case, we need six states of our character in the various different cameras. Now that we know that, we can move on to step two. All right, so the next step is to go into a photo editing software. I'm just gonna use Paint 3D for this example, but realistically, you can use any uh, like photo editing software you want. So we're just gonna open up Paint 3D here, and we're gonna insert a little image I pre-downloaded right here, the spoon. So we're just gonna open this up and we're gonna make a character based off this spoon. So, just gonna pop the spoon in and we're gonna, you know, let's give him like red arms or something, just like, you know. Oh, no, hold on, let me make it a little bit thicker than that. Make it a little bit thicker, there you go, there's some arms. Go ahead and give him his arms, give him his legs, and then give him his dopey face. There you go, there's his face, there's the spoon. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna turn this into our sprite that we're gonna use for our various cameras, icons, and jump scares. So basically what we do is we go into the magic select tool on paint 3d uh, you can use whatever uh, tool in your other photo editing software that allows you to basically turn this into a transparent background now this is uh, for the most part automatically gonna do it but not quite so I gotta go ahead and add this so it crops better there we go uh, go ahead and come up here there so there you go. That's like a general thing. Obviously, it's very rough. If I wanted this to be more exact, I'd go in with a finer point, you know, get the zoom in and be more exact. But this is just an example. So what we do is we hit done. And there you go. Now this is its own little sprite. So you can drag him out of the view and like he'll be here. Nothing will change. So now what we're going to do. Oh, hold on. We're going to select him. And we're going to select we're gonna hit select all which will select all of this and then we're just gonna delete it so now that we like once we have this guy we select it all and we're gonna move him back in we're selected move him back in now this has a transparent background so when we go in here and we hit save as uh we're gonna save it as an image and we're gonna put on transparency and there you go now it is a transparent background that we can use for our various different things. So we're going to save this and we're going to save it in our, uh, in our character file, which we have as, uh, let's just say the spoon there. So now this guy is saved. So what we're going to do now, if I stop dragging, we're going to pull him out and now we're going to hit canvas. Now it's time to make all the sprites for our various different characters. So I forgot to mention before, we're saving everything into its own file. So this is the spoon I downloaded, and this is where I just downloaded the spoon sprite. So that's pretty much it. Just create a file to put all these things in. So now if we go into Ultra Custom Night, if you go into the Mod Assets folder, which is where we're going to put everything. So now Ultra Custom Night, wherever you download it and extract it, um, the Mod Assets folder will be included. So this should be in your version if you have the latest version. Um, and these three icons here, or these three uh, selections are the different resolutions we're gonna be using. These are here just to tell you the resolutions of the various different assets we're gonna need. So we go into the icon, which is what we're gonna do first. You can check the properties just to see that the dimension, dimensions of this are 150 by 200. So when we make the icon image, it's gonna be 150 by 200. So with this selected, we're gonna to have to turn off the lock aspect ratio, make sure that's not ticked so it'll stick to whatever you put in. And we're gonna put 150 by 200, because that is what it is. So now we're going to zoom in a little bit just so it's not as small, but this is pretty much the resolution that um, like the game goes by. So we're going to have to shrink 
our spoon guy down so he'll fit in the icon box. So you pretty much just fit him how you want him to look inside the icon box. We'll just say that'll do. All right. And then this little square here is what it'll look like in the icon. It's 150 by 200. If you click that, uh, well, it didn't do it now, but for some it'll auto correct to like make it like 150 by like 201 or something. So it's not exact. So just unclick that so it's exact. So then what we do is we just go ahead and save as, as an image. And there you go. That's going to be our icon. That's its dimensions. We got to save it as a PNG. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, set its transparency so it'll be see through. Now we go and we're going to save this as spoon eye. Just to say spoon icon. And there you go. That's the icon done. Simple as that. So next up is the uh, going to go back into mod assets and we're going to do the jump scare again with this. You look at the jump scare resolution. It is 480 by 270. That's what the jump scare is. 480 by 270. So we go back into paint. We're going to move him out and we're going to set this to 480 by 270. And there you go. That's our jump scare. So this is kind of like, think of this as your screen, and this is what, what he's going to look like on your screen when he jump scares you. So we're just going to put him like this. There you go. That's what he'll look like when he jump scares you right in your face. Same thing. Now you go into menu. You save as, image, throw in that transparency, and then you save it. And then we're going to call this spoon J for jump scare. And there you go. So now we have the icon and the jump scare done. Now, the last step is, if we go into mod assets, the camera. Now, the camera resolution is 1250 by 540. So, if we remember, when we did our little uh, lookout, we need six camera states. So, we're going to have to draw what he looks like in all six of those cameras. So, you know, 1250 by 540. Oh, got to close that. We're just going to switch this now to 1250 by 540. And there you go. That should be our camera. So this is what it'll he'll look like in the camera. So, you know, what you think? Oh, this is the entrance cam. Well, he'll come in from like this side on the entrance cam. Uh, that's where he will be right there. So then we'll just save this as. Um, we'll just save it as. Uh, well, select, select transparency. Save as. Spoon 1. To say this is where he starts. And then we'll go to the second one. We'll move them over a little bit just to make it a little bit different. And then we'll save it as, go ahead and save as Spoon 2. Oh, I spelled it, spelled it incorrectly. Spoon 2. And then we're going to make his state for the third camera. So you guys get the gist. I'm just going to do this for all six cameras. But pretty much what you're doing here is making a position for him on each camera for every state you need. And just like that, we put in spoon six. Now, if we go into our character file, which is where I've been saving everything, uh, we see we have uh, his state in camera one, camera two, three, four, five, and six. Then we have his icon and we have his jump scare. And that's everything we need to set him up. The rest of this will be done in Ultra Custom Night. So let's just hop back in there. Actually first, uh, before we do that, we are actually gonna have to put all of these assets in there. So we're gonna move spoon one into here. We're gonna move uh, spoon two into here. Spoon three, spoon four, spoon five, oh, yep, yeah, spoon six, a spoon icon, and spoon jump scare. These have to be in the app, the mod assets file within Ultra Custom Night for it to work. So there we go. We have all of our uh, all of our sprites in there. Now all that's left is to hop into Ultra Custom Night and actually build the mod. Okay, and now that we're back in Ultra Custom Night, let's head into the Make Mod option. So, as we remember, we wanted to put them on floor 3, so we just double-click that. And now, it'll bring up a nice cam for us to say which order we're go gonna go in. Now, I'm actually gonna grab a little bit of a pen and paper here. Just hold on a second. Alright, I got a pen. 
So, we're gonna have to remember this uh, path. So he's gonna go eight, seven, five, four, two, one. So eight, seven, five, four, two, one. You pretty much just type in the path he's gonna take. So remember, he starts. He said he's gonna start in cam eight. He's gonna move cam seven, then to cam five, then to cam four, two, and one. So you just type in the order he's gonna go. Now I gotta type. Write this down. To remember. There you go, and now I have that memorized and written down. So now we just hit done. Now we're pretty much gonna create how he works. So, what makes the character move faster? Well, what do we want? Let's just say, for sakes, um, if the fan is on, he'll move. All right, let's just say if the fan is on, he moves. And now we're gonna say what makes him go back. Uh, let's just say the heater makes him go back. And now, we're gonna say, well, once he gets to his final state, what stops him from getting in the office? Uh... Hmm... Let's just say... Mask. So if he gets to his final state, we have to put on the mask to stop him. And, um... If he jump scares us, it's gonna cause a ventilation error. You know, you can choose whatever you want, but this is what we're gonna go with here. So what should our character be called? We're gonna call him The Spoon? Okay, and then we're gonna give him a description. A big spoon boy that kills vents. There you go, there's his, uh, there's his description. Okay, and now this is where we had to memorize this. So, this is where we're gonna build the text file that basically allows him to work. So, now that we have this written down here, I can remember his starting position is on cam 8. So now, I've gotta write down the file that has the sprite where basically the sprite of him on this camera. So remember, we did it spoon 1, spoon 2, spoon 3, spoon 4, all the way to 6 to say the cams. Well, spoon 1 was the starting position, and that's cam 8 in our case. So we're just gonna put in spoon 1, and you have to put dot png on the end for it to work. So our first one is, and then our first one was 8, our second one is 7. So we're gonna put spoon 2 dot png. Our next one was 5. So we're gonna put spoon three dot png, and then our next one was four. We're gonna put spoon four dot png, and then our next one was on two, and we're gonna put spoon five dot png, and our last one was on cam one, where we're gonna put spoon six dot png. Okay. That's all of our camera states. Now the icon, if you remember, we put spoon, capital I for icon, dot PNG, and our jump scare was spoon, uh, uppercase J for jump scare, dot PNG. And there you go. That was all the sprites we made, all now put in, and we hit done. And just like that, the text file was created for our spoon character. Right now, we just built him, and if nothing's wrong, he should function perfectly. So, now, we hit done. Now, as it said, the game would have put a text file into our mod assets folder, which is pretty much the character. So, what we do now that the character's created, we hit load mod, and now it'll automatically put me there because I've already done this before, but basically you just go into your ultra custom night folder, which in my case will be on desktop, you go into the Ultra Custom Knight, you go into it, and then you go into Amad Assets, and then it'll bring up all the uh, characters you created. So I created Fat Boy for my update video, and this is the spoon. We're gonna select him, we're gonna hit open, and there you go. Just like that, he's in the game. So you remember, this is the sprite we made, the spoon, a big spoon boy that kills Vance. So let's go ahead and test him out. So now we're in the cameras, I'm gonna turn the fan off, because remember, that's how he activates. So there he is, on cam 8, that's where he is. Oh, see, look at that, he moved to cam 7. And he's going to continue moving. If we turn on uh, the fan, he'll move a bit faster. So we'll see here. Wait for him. He'll move to cam 5 next. No? Doesn't feel like moving right now? Keep in mind, uh, you can't actually change your difficulty right now. As it is, they're all on a set difficulty no matter what you do. Uh, so yeah, you can't really change that right now. 
Oh, there you go. You moved cam five. There he is, just standing there. And obviously, we set it so if you put on the heater, he'll move back. There you go. He's kind of... There you go. And then he went back, and he went back to eight. So, yeah. That's pretty much what we have him set to. And now that we have the fan back on, which will make him move faster, he moved through the cams all the way through to cam one, which we'll have to put on our mask to stop him. And if he, we don't stop him, he'll jump scare us and cause a ventilation error. There you go. He's going to cam two. He's all the way over here. And he'll go to cam one and try to cause a jump scare. Just hold on. Wait for it. Wait for him to move. Oh, there you go. And he moved here. And I think he actually did do it. I don't know why the jump scare didn't play. But I guess it doesn't when you're doing a ventilation outage. Uh, but if you have chosen something like a lethal jump scare or something, uh, it definitely would have uh, gone off. I don't know why it didn't hear. Uh, weird. Um, it is possible I typed in the file wrong. But I don't think I did. Uh, but just in case I did, just make sure you type in your file exactly as it was. Um, in the folder because otherwise it won't be able to read it Then you move to one and you put on the mask to stop him and it sends him back and he's gonna come back I'm just gonna see if I can get him come back around and hopefully jump scare me cam two And cam one And yeah, he just caused an audio error so it doesn't seem like he's doing the jump scare um, I'm gonna swap him to doing a lethal jump scare and see if that works so yeah, we'll do that here now. All right, I just remade him and now his jump scare is lethal. So yeah, let's test to see how it goes here. So we have the fan on, go floor three, starts here, and we'll see him move throughout the cameras. Oh, oh he moved cam two. Cam one. Oh God. Oh God, the spoon's at cam one. He's gonna kill me. Oh God. And there you go. <laughs> So I guess uh, the ventilation thing doesn't cause the actual jump scare, but it still causes the effect. Or I just typed in the image wrong. You guys can go back and look. That's also a possibility. I'll see when editing. Uh, but yeah, that's literally it when it comes to creating a character. Um, it's a fairly simple process, and it is something that I could definitely tell is going to be expanded upon. Like adding the ability to add difficulty. You're going to be able to put them in the vents, because if you go into the app data file that is created when you make them, uh, that little file you select when you go into load mod. Like if you decide to open one of these on your PC, you'll see that there's like a bunch of spaces for uh, uh, other things like an icon for the vents or the ducts or the basement, stuff like that. So it definitely seems like Camille is planning on doing a lot more stuff. And obviously if you want to unload the mod, you just hit the unload mod button. Uh, but it's not working right now, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah. That's all I have to say. Well, I guess it unloaded the mod, but the icon's still there. Uh, but it's not currently active. That's the important thing. Uh, yeah, that's it for this little tutorial. Pretty simple process. Uh, anybody can do it. Uh, pretty much all you use is Paint 3D. That's all I use. And you can literally use anything, any other photo editing software that allows you to, one, give it a transparent background, and two, change the resolution of the image. That's literally all you need to make all the sprites for the game. And the in-game process, once you have all the sprites, you literally just build them on right there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Whatever Make. Have a good day.